We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. You know, I don't think we've officially addressed the fact that Trump has COVID-19. That's because we're trying not to be too schadenfreude. To what? Schadenfreude. Sharded. Oh, Schadenfreude. Oh, Schaden, I thought you said sharded Freud. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why you would shart yourself. No, it's taking pleasure in other people's misfortunes. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think you're at it. I'm, I just kind of like him. It's not really surprising. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't gotten it sooner. Like I think that's what I said. He was tested positive at the same time over the summer. Like, so I mean, it's kind of shocking that it took this long. I'm right. Really frank about it. Right. And I'm Jim about it. And I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm with you in that it's uh, definitely. Uh, not surprising, but yeah, I'm surprised that it, it took as long as it did for him to come come back with it. Uh, but what I think is most surprising, I'm aggravated that it basically did nothing to him. Well, that's true. Well, of <laughs> course, none of his supporters were going to get upset. None of them. They should. Oh, they should. There's a lot of stuff that they should do, but they're not gonna do. And we've no. and we've seen this firsthand, folks. To hold the uh, COVID stimulus relief until after the election. Yeah, that's some. Not, not, but not. <laughs> that's some bull hockey, I tell you. That that's. We're not getting any stimulus relief. <laughs> no. We're not. But the fact that he would hold it until after the election is some bull. But not the Supreme Court justice nominee. We need to get that through now. He's definitely gonna win. Um, I'm, I don't know how the presidential election is gonna turn out, but Mitch McConnell's got a lock, and he's still gonna be there when this is all said and done. He's the Senate Majority Leader, and he comes from a Southern state where his opponent is a woman. He's and he's white. Uh, he's it's in the bag, as they say. Yes, thank you, South Carolina. <laughs> Yes. There's Kentucky. a reason I left you. Oh, it's so Kentucky. 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 You're thinking Lindsey Graham. Oh, uh, I thought about Lindsey Graham. I thought we were talking about Lindsey Graham. No, Mitch McConnell. I mean, they were so close to being the same person that it's an easy mistake. I'm sure they probably tickled each other's pickle. I'm I'm down to the to the wire on that one. Uh, but poor Graham. He's kind of like in a, a legitimate race, though. I don't mm. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But yeah, that would. Mitch McConnell's going to win. Yeah, he's that he's going to win. That one will be interesting. Uh, but, Pork, I think you need to do, because I don't think Sheila heard it last week, your masterful impersonation of Mitch McConnell, your method acting impression oh. of Mitch oh, McConnell. I don't remember what you said, but you just need to make something. Uh, I don't know if I can. I don't know. I feel like that was like lightning in a bottle. Again. Oh, you can do it again. I have faith in you. You can do this again. Uh, oh yeah, because we were talking. We were talking about because Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Conor McGregor next year, and Manny Pacquiao is actually a senator, right? In the Philippines. <laughs> but we were thinking, like, wow, what would it be like to like get beaten up by a senator? And and just thought, wait, what would it be like to actually fight like an American senator? And I feel like that would really expedite the political process because, like. How many people would just want to take a shot at Mitch McConnell? <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty. I think Sheila's asleep. Sheila? I why. I'm here. Oh, you're here? No. Okay. I, you fell asleep and you heard us talking about you. That might have happened. <laughs> that might have happened. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh huh. So. Yeah, I think I think we were just talking about the scenario of like, oh, Mitch McConnell, you know, you cut this man's food stamps. Uh, so yeah, he gets to take a shot at you for two rounds. Chokeholds are permissible. Uh, good luck to you, sir. I would love what? that. Yeah. What? I'd punch what? him in the pube. <laughs> <laughs> You'd punch everybody yeah, after, in the pubes, wouldn't you? After after like going a few rounds with Sheila, I think. If I can come up with a voice again, like Mitch McConnell, like, oh, oh, we gotta do some reform. I 
I ain't taking no more of these ass whoopers. <laughs> method acting. That's, that's- the I think for Mitch McConnell, I wouldn't just punch him in the pubes. I would like tweeze each pube very slowly. Like that. That's a special kind of bait that I hold for him. Right. Tortoises are hairless, though. <laughs> mm. Fair enough. You Don't they have little like, like Philly hairs or whatever those things are called? Billy goat hairs. You know, like feely hairs, like the sense things, <laughs> like the way the wind's going. <laughs> I, th- uh, I think it's nap time for you, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I think tortoises do have feely hairs. Every- everything's fine. You're among friends. I had a turtle once. Its name was Food Lion. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Why Food Lion? I don't know. We weren't very like inventive kids, but like <laughs> we a bowl, so we threw it out in the stream, and it turned out to be a lot bigger of a turtle than we thought it was going to be. I see. It like became the kind of turtle that people eat, like that size. We thought it was going to stay like teenage mutant ninja turtle size before they got all mutated. Food lion did not. Here. Yeah. Oh, well... I guess the moral of that story is, like, don't go picking up random turtles off the street. Yeah! And if you're going to, get a little more creative with the names. Because, I mean, I could just call... I could call a turtle doorknob. You know, it's not that hard. We found a turtle around Food Lion. Well, I, I could find a turtle around my apartment. I wouldn't call him apartment. You should. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't even want to call like what we fed food lion. I'm pretty sure like it was not proper turtle food. But when we we threw him in the creek outside of our house, like we saw him, he was like there forever, and he like he became huge. <laughs> food lion was a biggie. <laughs> <laughs> and you wear a Z-Pat machine and uh, <laughs> I have tonsil stones Pork wears glasses <laughs> Pork does wear glasses <laughs>